But why has it, you know, there's this picture that has been painted about some kind of dog. You know, yes, there are some dogs, but by nature, they are, will I use the word aggressive? It's like the Caucasian, it's in its nature. It's a defensive dog, it's a protective dog by nature. The bulldog also, I'm sorry, the pit bull, the canicoso, the rottweiler. But I've always wondered why we've always made emphasis on that part that scares you away. And we already see the good in it because we're so focused on that part you know that scares us that part we think we, of the dog that we think we can't put under control and forget so many benefits that come with having a dog hmm. there are lots of benefits you know lots great companion protector but well, how do you control that part how do you learn so that's why that's why if you have a big dog a dog that man is a man stopper. A dog that you cannot easily hold, hold back. There's one man, you know, with you like with you on that. And I think and that's what Hulk. Hulk. Mm, that's what. You know. Like, so, I, 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 does the size matter for that kind of dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, there's a lot of controversy about Hulk. People. Some things not a pit bull. People don't grow that, that big. big. Some say, you know, maybe it's an excess. So whatever the dog is, it's a fine dog and it's been trained properly. Training is very, very important in only a massive big dog. <laughs> I can put my dog here now that we are both here and everything. I won't do anything to you anymore because it's easy. And it will lie down here, but nobody will be able to approach the two of us, mm. especially strangers. He senses the atmosphere. He's going to stand up and drop voice and say, "Back up!" You got to, you got to be bold to still come forward, and he will bite. That's the liar. <laughs> the liar torture is at the back. The dog is something else. The I see that dog, that's a cute Yeah, it's a cute, cute boy. Beast. It's a beast. Yeah. <laughs> a cute beast. Yeah, it's a, it's a cute beast. The way his white hair yeah. shines. Yeah. I like his stance. Ah, he's got powerful stance. Powerful. His um his mouth. I like that. You know that scary, serious. Serious looking, you know. It's scary though, but Tuko is more scary. Which one is Tuko again? The blue one. That looks very good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tuko looks actually really good. I think all of us that own himself, we still give the guys more Which respect. I was really wondering. When I became intrigued about why human beings like to be scared of animals you know and you look at what the scripture state says part of what god has given us dominion over is dominion over everything he created animals are one but you now see a lot of people are so scared of dogs but i've seen people who rear lions i've seen breed lions as domesticated animals, they breed lions, you know. So, you ask yourself, if you have fear of just breeding a dog based on its look, what about someone who breeds lions and he's not scared of the lions? He has studied them, he has read them, he knows how to relate to them, he knows when they are in a mood. You know, he knows when not to come close. He knows as long as they are fed, they are not harmful. But don't just show fear. You have to, in your mind, you have to win that battle. 
you have to tell yourself you can do it with this animal. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's crazy, man. But we, but basically, you have to win that battle in your mind. Yeah, yes, it starts from from small now. So as long as the dog is, is a, a, a cub, you start bonding. That's where it starts from. That's the part people don't see. They think the thing, the guy just. As every as dog, every dog, dog, every dog understands come and go. <laughs> so there is, there is, there is, a, there is a, a process, bonding. That bonding is what makes, what gives the owner leverage over every other.